Next up, getting a lot of phone calls oh, all the boy. time today. Last night, what happened to Jerry Lawler? Did he win? Did he lose? He did win. He did win. Yes. And you will see the King becoming the world champion. Next. Don't go away. Well, it uh, was a spectacular night over at the Coliseum last night, eh? Yeah, that's a good, spectacular. That is a good word. Yeah, Dave even, looked very, very, very good. Wasn't he handsome in the tuxedo last night? Yeah. Was, yeah. Boy, that was something. Oof. It was indeed a night to remember at the Coliseum. Jerry Lawler and Kurt Henning wrestling for Henning's World Championship. Belt. Now, the King has said he would retire if he didn't win the title. And here is what happened. Here's the end of the last night. The King, as often happens, looks to be about out of it. Jackie Fargo, the referee, saying, King, you want to give it up? Lawler says no. Kurt Henning turns the screw one more time, pounding Lawler near senses in the rope. But now, Lawler suddenly drawing strength, probably from all the thousands of fans who were there at the Coliseum last night. Henning's down. Now, this is called the slingshot. This is going to win the match. Here it comes, right here. There you go, Henning. Pow! Oh, into the turnbuckle. He is down. He rolls over. Now, can the King get strength enough to pin Henning? All he has to do is fall on him. Struggling, struggling, yay! Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, and the King is the world champion. Afterward, he had this to say. For a long, long time, all those 14 years, you, a lot of you people know how many title shots I had, and it was beginning to feel like I was climbing a mountain that I was never gonna reach the top, and all of a sudden, right here tonight, let me take this off where everybody can oh, see yeah. it. Yeah. Here's the top of the mountain, right here. All right. Many people have said the only thing harder than winning the world title is keeping it. I say, long live the king. All right, other matches last night at the Coliseum. We've got Brickhouse Brown over at the Nightmare. Star and Steiner defeated uh, Tommy and Doug Gilbert. Diamond Tanaka won over Travis and Brandy. And we have the Cuban Choir Boys over Ron and Don Bruce, Kern and Graham over Payne and Young, and Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett battle to a no contest. Bill Dundee defeated Eddie Gilbert. And there, one more time, Jerry Lawler, the new heavyweight champion, defeating Kurt Henning. And that's what happened last night at the Coliseum. And coming up later, one of the best drag racers in the world is here for the big races this weekend. He visited Madonna Day School, and that's quite a story. We'll have that and more when we come back. And what else can you say? Long live the king, Mason. I'm delighted that he won. Thank you, Jay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> up next, Dave Brown. To talk about the weather, you were quite terrific looking yesterday. Thank you. Last night, and we all appreciated watching the uh, bow tie and the tux. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big night last night. I, uh, I enjoyed wearing the tux. I, that's kind of fun every now yeah. and then. And uh, what a terrific night. And congratulations. It was worth putting that back on for today's weather, though. Was well, I, can, I consider that because I've been accepting compliments on today's weather all day long. I'll tell you if that's going to last when we come back. honored with royalty this afternoon the in, king in was the newsroom. He, the king walked through. He was carrying a very large object with him. Yeah, and it took him 15 years to get it, but <laughs> finally, he finally got it. Memphis wrestling favorite Jerry the King Lawler used all of his ring savvy last night to capture the AWA heavyweight crown before a packed house at the Coliseum. Sports series Les Smith has the highlights. From a grandiose entrance, to a satisfying conclusion. Nearly everything and everyone at the Mid-South Coliseum last night belonged to wrestler Jerry Lowell, a host of local sports figures, and even a political contingent headed by Memphis Mayor Dick Hackett paid pre bow homage to the man affectionately dubbed the King by his fans. Yet none of the hoopla seemed to make an impression on the surly countenance of now former AWA heavyweight champion Kurt Henning. But with his faithful following and near hysterics every second, the 15-year veteran in the squared circle just wouldn't quit, even in the darkest of times. You know, you know how far you've come. You don't want to let yourself down. But more importantly, when you look out there and you see 9,000 people that have come and are behind you and are, are there that night, you just, boy, that's a, you just, you know, you have to reach down and get that little something extra because you don't want to let that many people down. Well, I realize now why it's been so tough to get that belt because once you have it, what's the last thing in the world you want to do is lose it. Les Smith, Sports 3. In this week's uh, softball spotlight, it's only natural that we feature Lawler's Army. They play their games at Willow Road on Thursday nights, and I asked Jerry if he would continue playing softball now that he's the world champion of wrestling. Well, hopefully, Johnny. Uh, we, had a, we had a big night tonight, and uh, 
uh, even though the wrestling takes up a lot of the time, the, you know, it's like one night out of the week that I really get to just uh, throw everything out of the window and have a good time and uh, not have to be serious, come out here with a bunch of good friends and, and just uh, have fun. So I'm going to certainly keep doing that. Your team looks awfully good tonight. You beat a tough team franchise. You know, they're, they're rated in our top ten. Uh, how have you been doing so far this year? Well, this was the first league game that counted tonight, so uh, we're 1-0 and in the league, and a lot of people said we shouldn't even play in the A-League this year. Said that we didn't have a chance. Uh, right now, we're sitting on top. That's a good place to be. Well, we, we played each other many times, and I, I think you're right where you should be. I remember one time, Johnny, we played you and, and uh, your team, and we came out with a little second-place trophy about this big, and you guys had a seven-foot-high trophy. I threw mine in the Mississippi River. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the good old days. Well, congratulations on tonight. Thank you, Johnny. Well, here's our softball top ten according to the, po uh, the uh, coaches' poll. Number one, Tire Warehouse, uh, they uh, remain number one. The performance Toyota jumps up to number two. The Memphis Stocks drop down to number three. Alfred's is fourth. Sport Stuff drops to fifth. X-Lines B-League jumps up to six. Lawler's Army moves into the top ten at seven. Franchise drops to eight. Riverside moves up to nine. And Bellevue Baptist drops down to ten.